Okay, so hello and welcome back. <coughs> now in this video we will talk about estimating products. So in the previous video we talked about estimating sums and differences, meaning adding numbers and subtracting numbers. And um, essentially about adding and subtracting, uh, you saw that for example if you have two numbers, 2,787, and for example if you want to add to that 3200 for example 56 if you were to add them together you would have to write them in the right columns and then do the calculation 7 plus 6 is equal to 13 1 and 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 plus 1 is equal to 14 1 and then 7 plus 2 is equal to 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 1 and then 3 plus Two is equal to five plus one is equal to six, and then that's six thousand forty-three, right? So the numbers were two seven eight seven plus three two five six, and then the an the actual answer would be six zero four three six six thousand forty-three. <coughs> so if you, but then on the other hand, if you do approximation. 22,787 if you basically if you if I round it to a 3,000 and 3,256 if I round it to a 3,000 that would be essentially 6,000 added together and you see that essentially the difference is only 43 among 43 out of out of 6,043 essentially so that's essentially nothing right Meaning in, in percentage that would be a tolerance of actually nothing. Meaning that would be 43 out of 6,043. If you do the calculation, that would be basically something like... Um, that would be essentially a tolerance of if you if you want to calculate the tolerance you you could you could say essentially 43 divided by 6043 that's that's the same as 0 0.007 that's a, that's the same not even 1% right that essentially the tolerance is actually nothing so it's very close to the very close to the actual number that you would get if you actually did the, the the actual calculation right so now the same thing essentially goes for multiplication meaning the same story goes for multiplication except that in multiplication basically or essentially in a, in a product the the basically the operation is much more time consuming right so for example if you were to calculate for example 19 times 78 for example right 19 times 78 so 19 times 78 if i were to calculate it i would have to write the numbers this way 19 times 78 multiply and then 9 times it's got to 72 7 9 times 7 is equal to 63, 63 plus 7 is equal to 70, and then a 0 over here, 1 times 78 is 78, then I have to add, so 2, 8, and 14, that's 1482, right? Now if I do the calculation over here, just to make sure that it didn't make any mistakes, that's 19 times 78, it's 1482, right? Now, if I were to, of course, and then if I were to do essentially approximation, um, so the first thing that I can do is essentially to, the first thing that I can do is essentially to, to note that basically that this number, for example, the 19 is very close to a 20, meaning if I were to round it to the to the tenth place value, that would be a twenty. A seventy-eight essentially is rounded to the tenth place value would be an eighty, and then of course an eighty times a twenty would be a sixteen hundred, right? 
and you see essentially the, the actual numbers when I were to essentially when I wanted to do essentially when I rounded the numbers the act both of the actual numbers are are smaller than the than their rounded counterparts meaning that 19 is is, is smaller than 20 and 78 is smaller than 80 right so which means that essentially when i multiply 20 and 80 together their product whatever it might be must be essentially larger than the actual product of 19 and 78 which means that from this i can conclude that 19 times 78 is going to be less than 1600 right it's going to be less than 1600 so that's that's the, in and of itself some sort of calculation meaning that and moreover based on what i have done i know that the essentially if i multiply 19 and 78 it's going to be of course less than 1600 and it's going to be very close to 1600 meaning the actual and the actual multi multi essentially multiplication of 19 and 78 is going to be very close to 1600 because you see the numbers over here 19 is very close to 20 78 is very close to 80 so it's going to be only for example meaning that just uh, 80 minus 78 is 2 so that's twi twice 20 which is 40 I have to subtract from this and also 19 is the same as 20 minus 1 so 1 times 78 would be something around 80 and 40 and 80 120 120 if you subtract from 1600 you would get essentially 1480 right and the actual answer would be 1482 right so based on the numbers i can tell that i can tell that the the essentially that the answer is um, that that of course the actual that 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 the product of 19 and 78 is less than 1600 and very close to 1600 right so that that's how you can you can you can estimate secondly if um, um so that that's all about essentially 19 and 78 that, that's just one example now another another two numbers multiplied together would be for example 63 and 182 63 and 182 now 63 and 182 if you multiply them together is the same as 11,466 that's 11,466 that's the actual answer okay and of course you know that to, to do this calculation is going to take a whole lot of time meaning 182 times 63 so then 6 times 2 is equal to 6 3 times 2 is equal to 6 3 times 2 is equal to 24 3, 3 times 1 is equal to 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and then 6 times 182 you have to calculate here and then add all of them together so it takes it takes a whole lot of time but then um, but then essentially what you can do is that you can essentially um, is that you can round your numbers meaning you have 63 times 182 63 times 182 for example let's let's round this number to the to the nearest hundreds place value so 63 rounded to the to the nearest hundreds would be a hundred right and 182 to the nearest hundreds would be for example a 200 and then 100 times a 200 would be a 20,000 which is of course which is not which is of course not a very good approximation because you see that essentially the the difference um the difference essentially between these two numbers is around 10,000 10,000 meaning 11,466 and 20,000 the difference is around around 10,000 and so basically the 
that that's essentially a ten thousand um, if you if you do the calculation to get the tolerance meaning how far you are away from the number so the difference is is essentially is a ten thousand meaning that um, that that's essentially a ten thousand approximately and the actual number is around is around eleven thousand so if you do the calculation 10 to 11 is the same thing as is around 0 0.9 which is somewhere something like it a tolerance of 90 percent right meaning that um meaning that the meaning that the, that the difference between the actual answer and the answer that you would get has a tolerance of 90 has around 90 percent which is of course in most cases not not acceptable right so so that so essentially this is not this this is not a good way to to essentially to do this calculation right we have to find a better a better way now a better way is is essentially you have meaning that you have to get to essentially close as close to the actual numbers as possible in such a way that you don't um in such a way that at the same time you don't make your calculation unnecessarily complicated right so now what i can do is that i can I, I can see that essentially 63 is a two digit number meaning that it has the ones place value and also the tens place value and um, so the, the the largest place value in this number is the tens place value 182 is a number that has the ones tens and hundreds place value the largest place value is the hundreds place value so I so of course if i take this number 63 in which the largest place value is the tens place value if i round it to the hundred to the nearest hundreds i would get a hundred which is far away from this number so i'm going to round this number to the nearest tens excuse me yes tens of course which would be essentially a 60. now the difference between 60 and 100 would be already 40 right so that then in that and and then essentially in the product that would be a whole lot of difference basically so the 100 is of course not acceptable but 60 is good enough approximation as in, is close enough to 63 so i'm going to round this number to the nearest tens and write it as 60. this number 182 i'm going to round it to the nearest hundreds right which would be a 200 it's well close enough to uh, 200 is it's close enough to 182 right and now well the calculation is fairly easy meaning six times two is equal to 12 and i have three zeros over here that's 12,000. previously our calculation was 20,000, so there is already 8,000 difference here which have which we have easily taken out right and now you see that essentially the difference over here between this number and this number is only about 700 right is only meaning the difference between 12,000 and 11,400 is about six seven thousand seven hundred and seven hundred out of basically out of eleven thousand for example give or take 11,000 that would be 7 out of 110 meaning essentially about 7% tolerance right 7 essentially 7 out of 110 that's that's around that's around 6 7% tolerance so previously our tolerance was 90% in but using this strategy that the tolerance was reduced to a, to only a seven to all the way down to essentially seven hundred seven seven percent right so that that essentially shows that I'm, i i need to essentially go with this strategy which is this one which means that if your number if the largest place value in your number 
essentially is the tens place value round to the tens place value. The largest place value here is the hundreds place value round to the hundreds place value. And then do the calculation. And then do the calculation. And that's that's usually a good enough that that's usually good enough an approximation, right? So then if you if you may actually call this a rule the rule is that essentially in every calculation so you have for example 63 times 182 each of these can be called a factor so each factor you would round it to the largest place value in the same in, in that number basically so the largest place value over here is the tens place value so you would round this to the tens place value and in this factor the largest place value is the hundreds place value so you would round the number to the hundreds place value and then do the calculation right that 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 that's usually going to be essentially a good enough approximation otherwise if you actually want a, a closer approximation you could for example what you could do is that for example the 63 you can round it to the tens place value which would be essentially a 60 and then 182 you would round it to again to the tens place value which would be a 180 instead of a 200 right and then basically you would do the calculation but then essentially a essentially then you would have to multiply a 60 by 180 which is not easy meaning a 6 times an 18 right a 6 times an 18 would be for example then you would have to 6 times it's got to 54 5 6 6 5 11 and then basically 2 0 so that's 1 1 4 0 0 right so but then if you write this as 60 times essentially a 200 that would be essentially a 12 and three zeros so that's a 12,000 that's 11,400 the difference is only uh, 600 right the difference is only 6 600 but then the calculation is is, is essentially much harder right so that's that's essentially one thing essentially about this number another example would be would be for example a um, uh, uh, would be for example 81 times <coughs> would be 81 times uh, 479 right 81 times 479 and um, so again basically the largest place value over here would be essentially the tens place value so i'm going to round to the tenth place tens place value I'm, I'm going to write write essentially 81 as an 80 and 479 rounded to the hundreds place value would be a 500 and then the the eight times so I go to 40 and then I have three zeros over here that's a 40,000 right and the actual calculation is basically 81 times 81 times 479 and you see that the at the, the actual answer is 38,799 38,800 so 38,800 approximately the actual calculation so the on, essentially the only difference is about essentially uh, that's a 239,000 and then that's 1,200 difference so it's a it's it's, it's a very good approximation right now uh, essentially a, a, a good application of uh, of basically of, of of estimating products is essentially is when you want to check your answer and when you want to make sure that essentially that the answer that you've gotten is actually right meaning that suppose that you had for example 37 times 8, 8, 1889 right 
and you've done this calculation by hand by not using a calculator and you've got the answer as 69,893 and this is actually if you multiply essentially 37 by 1889 on a calculator you would get 69,893 this exact number this is the actual right answer now you want and 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 you're not you're not actually sure that the answer is actually the correct answer so what you can do to just quickly check whether your answer is right or not you can round your numbers for example round this number to the tens place value becomes a 40 and round this number to the thousands place value becomes essentially a 2000 and then do the calculation two times so is equal to eight and then you have four zeros over here so you have eighty thousand and this number over here the actual answer meaning the the, the answer that you got is very close to seventy thousand so eighty thousand seventy thousand there is not much difference but then if if the number that you got here was for example something like for example eight hundred thousand eight hundred thousand then you could kind of then you could of course suspect that the, that the answer that you got was not the right answer meaning that there was actually something wrong with your answer if it was eight hundred thousand meaning ten times around ten times the the answer that you got right now it's still possible in this case in this case essentially what you got here it's still possible that for example you've got the answer as 69,893 that for example you've done your calculation and in the addition for example instead of instead of an 8 you've written a 9 instead of a 4 you've written a 3 or something like that right it's still possible but then those cases you can you can actually rule out meaning that um, um, meaning that the answer was actually supposed right now the answer is very close to 70,000 meaning that the answer was actually supposed to be very close to for example 700,000 but now you've got you've, you've gotten 70,000 so those types of cases you can rule out but still there is the possibility that the actual answer might be instead of a three you you were supposed to write a four or instead of the, the nine you you were supposed to write an eight or something like that that's still possible okay so that's that's essentially all about uh basically approximate as estimating products which is of course very it has all kinds of applications in physics in chemistry in science wherever you go you can of course use all of this in very meaningful ways okay. so i hope that this video was helpful and in the next videos we'll talk about some exercises thank you